I noticed from the rationally ignorant, there's a tendency to justify any viewpoint that they're not comfortable with, with radical freedom, and they do this not realizing it. Now, the notion of radical freedom is that we all have the freedom to do anything. We just lie to ourselves and act like we don't have a choice sometimes. But we do. For example, if you're trying to cross the street, but there's a big manhole that's blocking your way, you could still try to cross the street and jump to your death. That's radical freedom right there. And you see this a lot with the voluntarists and the people they dub as statists. And they'll basically say something along the lines of, well, <sighs> if we stop paying taxes, we're going to get like a court date. If we don't show up, officers are going to come up. And then if we resist, they can shoot us. So we're being forced to do these things under the threat of violence. And then the rationally ignorant statist will say, well, you, can, you still don't have to do it. You can still say no. And yeah, you might get shot, but still, you still have that freedom. I've heard this said plenty of times, and since I'm not a voluntarist, and I understand how they're hearing this as, and the shock value of it, it's actually kind of funny, because the rationally ignorant person is saying, okay, die, bitch. <laughs> but this isn't just applied to the voluntarists. This also applies to anyone with a white racial consciousness. The same kind of issue persists. <laughs> because if you do want to have a nice community separated from modernity that is white, that is a nice form of Christianity, a nice Abrahamic, although Abrahamic can mean a lot of things that may not be exactly what I'm talking about, well, you're going to be seen as a bad boy, and they could try to harm you, and they do have the resources to do so. And the rationally ignorant person is just going to see you as a radical, they're not going to be invested in your opinion. So they're going to say, well, you still have the power to go away and try to do this thing. Which is basically what I'm saying. Okay. Die, bitch. <laughs> and I like it in a way, because... There's something to be said about rational ignorance, as opposed to what I see in the smaller fringes of mainstream thought, which is willful ignorance. Rationally ignorant people are just people that don't want to, they don't have the time, they don't have the resources or the interest to look up certain issues to actually educate themselves and so they'll try to tear away from anything that seems radical or seems to have a meme that's different from the one they were indoctrinated with so if you purport a meme and you will purport a meme that contradicts what they've been indoctrinated with well they just don't care they have no reason to care. There's too many ideas out there for one to grasp without making it time-consuming and making it a commitment. So, 
they're going to engage in radical freedom, which is the notion that you know, politics is force. I understand that much to an extent. But you still have a freedom to do what you can, even if it can mean a lot of bad things for you, or to you, or from people that you care about. You still have that power. And, in a way, they're right. And so better than the woefully ignorant, tumbler right, die system crowd. Which isn't necessarily SJW. Another thing. Ricky Gervais, or Gervais, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Forgive me for that. He said that same-sex marriage doesn't give gays privilege if gays were to no longer have to pay taxes, that's privilege, and churches get that. It's a bad paraphrase, but that's essentially what he said. So essentially, yeah, he is threatening churches to go past their own doctrines and let same-sex couples marry in their churches under the threat of taxation, and there's levels to that shit. He's essentially saying, okay, die, bitch. Ah. You guys are seeing me drink the shit out of this water. This is, this is the real like, concept of the video. I know a lot with progressives, liberal progressives, is that there needs to be a concept of force integration. Okay, you have to let people of all races come to your store, now, come to your restaurant so that they can buy your cheeseburgers. All races, all sexual orientations, all religions. Because it, it's their right. Don't be a bigot, right? Never mind the fact that it's your store and you're essentially going to threaten them with lawsuits and controversy and stuff that could prove to be fatal to them but okay die bitch what she want that really seems to get on my nerves Mr. Wonka said when you didn't get to see me finish that shit, but whatever. It's just something I've noticed, and I want to hear your thoughts on it. Because this level of apathy is actually kind of amusing to me. And it's not fully applied to everything. If it's something that matters to them, I guarantee you they won't appreciate those three words. <laughs>